Hi there, this is Mary at the Mary Atelier, and I am going to do a project stream, which means that I am unlisted, which means that you will not be seeing a chat under this. So go ahead and comment if you wish. I'm going to work on my 29 faces, hashtag 29 faces in February is by Ayala Art. I will put a link to her blog and her channel in the description box below. I have been working this year with water-soluble pencils and graphite sticks. Seem to be what I'm exploring with my 29 faces this year. I've been having a lot of fun with that. Yeah, I got my little drawing box all set up here. Really nice. And I may use these flexible brush markers. I got these at the Lobby. Of course, I use the coupon. And they are brushes. They are not felt tips. They are actual brushes. And they are uh, watercolor. So we'll, we will experiment with those. I have been basing my 29 faces off of little history items that I've been cutting out of the newspaper. Now, I'm going to go back to February 6th. Uh, no, uh, February 8th. In 1952, Queen Elizabeth proclaimed her accession to the British throne following the death of her father, King George the sixth so i know it was in february so i am going to sketch queen elizabeth the second so i did a little looking up reading about her oh my goodness what a life what a wonderful life she's led there's a lot to read and study about her but here she is right here this is a wiki commons photograph and I believe she, I think she's 92, 92 this year, I believe. Let me check that fat. Let me check. Hold on. And please excuse my, my squeaky chair. Uh, yes, yeah, she's 92. She was 92 in, on April the 21st. How about that? Isn't that cool? Here she is at her birthday party, her 92nd birthday party. And I am going to take a photo of this, a screenshot of this. Let me screenshot it here. There. And the reason I do that is that when I screenshot that, I can expand it further because I want to work on her face. What an interesting face she has. What a beautiful lady. Look at that beautiful white hair. <laughs> I just love it. And of course, she's got those pearls and a, and a lovely um, cream and light yellow dress and all those beautiful roses that she's holding. And of course, she's waving to someone. I don't know if I'll put her hand in there. I want to concentrate on her face and perhaps her white hair. Uh, so I will not be using a lot of, uh, I will not be using a lot of dark colors on her face. Now let's look at her face. This is something I like to do, verbally describe her face. And I really think by verbalizing it, it helps me remember when I get into sketching. Now I have to decide, do I want to sketch a full head view or do I want to go in and sketch her face like this and really just get her face? I think that I want to maybe pull it out just a little, maybe something like that, and maybe over a little this way. And I will probably ignore her hand there, and maybe I'll put some of her pearls in. Mm, do I want to do it more like that? Yeah, I think I'll go for that. 
and maybe over a little, over this way a little. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to keep my phone out here while I sketch. I'm going to unplug it because that cord gets in my way. And I just hope it stays charged up while I'm sketching here. Now these are some tort tortillions. And they are really to blend graphite. But since I'm going to be using water soluble, I probably will not be using these, but I'll set them aside. I'm going to start out with a relatively hard lead. And when I say hard, I'm just going to start out with my lead number two pencil. But let's let's work on describing her face. Let me bring it up here a little bit more so you can see it. And I should probably zoom in a little. Let's zoom in a notch. And probably about there. Now my paper is slanted and I'll probably slant it as I'm working on it. Okay, I think that'll be good. So I'll probably move this picture as you know I'll zoom in and zoom out as I'm working on it but and in fact let's do that now let's look at her eyes and her at the structure of her face she's got her, I, the first thing I noticed when I looked at this picture and when I looked at all of her pictures was her eyes the line here is fairly horizontal in the same way down there she's got big brown eyes maybe called hazel eyes, but that line is fairly horizontal there. And then, of course, this part of the eyelid slants down, slants back up and goes in there. Uh, no white of her eye over here, but a lot of white over there. Her head, she is looking in the same direction that her head is pointed. Her head is facing off this way, and her eyes are looking off this way too. They may be looking just a little bit that way, but if I get them looking this way, I'll be doing good. She's got a big wide smile, a fairly long nose, high cheekbones. She's got a lot of, of uh, lines underneath of her eyes because she is 92, but look at that big smile that she has. Um, a lot of shadowing going on under her neck. You can see some of the structure of her neck bone there. And, a, and of course, a, a pretty high forehead. Some, some light wrinkling in there. Not too bad. Uh, I see a line going there. I'm not sure what that is. I'd like to look at other photographs. I see a line going right in here. Do you see that? Yeah, you see that pretty good, don't you? And, of course, she's got that beautiful silver gray hair. So, and I don't think I will sketch her hand. I'm not interested in sketching hands at this time. I'm going to concentrate mostly on her eyes and her nose and her mouth. But I do want to get the rest of her in here, too. So, I think I said about like this. So, and, the, and her face is... Is not totally round, but it's not real oval either. It's uh, it's oval, but it's not a long oval. So I think I will start out with um, I think I'll start out like I always do with her with the left eye. I seem to like to do that, and I'm going to zoom in as I do that. Well, I also like to get a sense of where I'm going with this. So I kind of say, okay, I, I kind of do this. The head's going to fit right in here. She's going to have a neck here, neck area, and the necklace coming down there. The head will fit in here. She's got quite a bit of hair going on up here, that beautiful white hair that she has. So let's just kind of lightly see. It's just got a little corner of it up here. So let's just kind of lightly put that in with my pencil you probably won't be able to see much until I start putting in darker lines. And let's see. You can kind of see the side of her face because she is looking off this way. So you don't see her ear very well because her hand's in the way. You don't see the ear over here at all. 
So I'm not going to sketch an ear. <laughs> We're not interested in ears today. So we got this wavy hair coming up around like that. Just kind of coming up like that. And then she's got this beautiful, beautiful white hair. And I'm just kind of putting in some lines just to kind of get the shape of her head here. And the light hits it over here. The light hits her hair there, and it makes it darker toward her head and lighter out in here. Now, um, so I think in her forehead starts right about in here. She's got beautiful, beautiful hair coming down here. She's got some curve, curly hair there. Now, since her hand's in the way, I might have to sketch her hand just because I cannot see much of the side of her face because her hand's in the way. So I may sketch, I may end up sketching her hand after all. This right in here, where I'm pointing with my pencil, is this wave right here that I have defined on my paper. And then it has another kind of a hair wave there and then her hand falls into here right into there so and then her eyes her eyes fall into here now i'm gonna have to go up again way up scanning way in so i can see that left eye i was working out the placement of where i want this left eye to start and it's got not a defined eyebrow. I mean, you don't see every little hair, but there's shadow in there. So you know there's an eyebrow there. And I'm just going to kind of lightly put some lines in there. And she's got kind of a line there. I think I'm going to leave that one line alone. That line there makes me wonder what that is. <laughs> Maybe that's just a trick of the photography or the way she's holding her head. Okay. She's got this line here, and let's go over. She's got this other eyebrow come, kind of arching and going into a, a horizontal area here, it arches, and then it kind of comes down, angles down, and I'm hitting right where I want to on the side of her face. And I'm doing some, just some, Light sketching here. There's a lot of shadow. Well, not a lot of shadow, but there's significant shadow in here that defines her nose. So, and I did say this part of her eye is fairly horizontal. And it's kind of got this arch here, and that horizontal part ends right in here. So I'm just going to make it sort of horizontal and then it comes down this way it's a fairly long eyelid and then it kind of comes down that way what a beautiful beautiful smile she has okay you do not see much of her eye eyelid or eye the white of her eye it kind of curves up and like that. And I'm just kind of lightly sketching this in right now. And then this part of her eye kind of comes in like that. This was all dark in here. She does have a little twinkle right, right there. A little twinkling in her eye. There. Now, I'm going to concentrate on the lines here. Uh, which is really interesting on an older person to get these lines in here and to to make them look decent is a challenge. It is a challenge. All right. So, and this part of her eyebrow is all in uh, eyelid. Eye is all in shadow. And there isn't a lot of area here as far as area before between this line and this line of her cheekbone. 
She's got very high cheekbones. She's got a, a line of shadow in there, and then she's got a, a pretty high cheekbone that comes up this way, and she's got some shadowing in here. How's it looking to you so far? Very light. I'm surprised if you could see anything. Now, her nose is a very interesting nose. It comes and it's it's got a pretty large nostril that slants down. So we're going to do that. And comes up this way. Comes in here like this. And then on this side of the face, you're beginning to see this high cheekbone again. Right in here. But let's go ahead and work on this eye. This eye... Now, here's where uh, I really don't think, looking at this picture, let's measure this. I need my little snips of paper. I emptied my wastebasket today. Let's get one of these small pieces. Now, I know for measuring the other piece that I know that her eye looks fairly long here. So from the end of her eye here, to the inner part of her eye there. Ah, it's hard not to want to touch the camera. To the inner part of her eye there to there. Yeah. there Because of the way she's tilting her head, there's a lot of area in here, but it is not as long as this eye. This area in here is much shorter. If you measure it out, see here's, here's, let me draw a line here. Now draw a line here. And I believe right in here. And I'll just draw a line there, from there, into there. Here is, and of course I'm at my camera, so it's hard not to touch things. Here's the, well, and it depends on where my camera is, too. Here's the length of her eye from here to here. Her nose really ends right in there. Her other eye ends right in here. So the way her head is tilted She's got a, looks like she's got a very long eye here, a short area here at the bridge of her nose, and then a shorter eye there. And I'm sure that's because she is looking off over this way. If she was looking straight at you, those eyes would probably be, and those areas would probably be evenly spaced. But looking at that, I think I have too much space in here. Just looking at that for my own my own drawing. So I'm going to shorten up this space in here a little. Yeah. And I might have to shorten all of this up. And we're just going to shorten this area of her nose, which will affect all of this in here. And I'm sure it's the tilt of the camera, the tilt of the head, the angle of the camera. Okay, I'm a little bit happier with that. Uh, this, of course, is all shaded in here. Uh, there's a little bit in there. And then this eye starts, it starts about on the same line there. And it, it immediately angles up. And it goes not quite as long, and then it angles down. And, of course, this eyebrow, I've got it way too long over here, which is going to affect all of this in here. But that's okay. I'd rather, I'd rather study it. Now, I can see white of her eye in here, and I can see white of her eye there, and the white of her eye in here. And I can see a teeny bit of white of her eye over here. 
that her eyes are fairly horizontal. She's got a little white area underneath, and then she's got some shading. Now, I don't see a sparkle in this eye. So I'm just going to kind of shade it in. And then she's got kind of a high eyelid there, and then she's got this coming up there. Now, I'm not sure what that looks like to you right there. <laughs> I usually have to sketch these people more than once to get them to look like they look like, but, and I am sketching with my number two just to get this, get it all blocked in. I still like this area in here, but this needs to be a little bit smaller right in there, I believe. You know, it might even come down a little bit more. Maybe something like that. And then she's got this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful big smile. Now... Because of all that, I'm going to change this whole area that I had defined for her head up here. Because that's going to be way too much. And that's okay, because that's all in white anyway. I'm going to go for my lead pencil, my number two. I think I'll go in for my 4B pencil. And this is a water-soluble. These are Faber-Castell water soluble graphite pencils and i'm just going to shade this a little bit more in here because i'm going to come in with some water here in a minute she's got this area in here underneath of her eye kind of comes all up in there And her forehead isn't quite as high as what I had it there. Kind of comes into here. How I'm looking to you. Now let's do her, let's do this wonderful smile if I can. Let's study the smile. Here's this nostril. The nostril itself has some shading right in there. And this kind of comes around, comes down, and there's shading underneath it. There's shading all underneath of here. But because she's smiling, her lips are fairly thin. Because when you smile, your lips thin out. So... Which, but they are red. She's got red lips. And here's the end of the nostril. And the lips end way out here. Almost to the end of her eye. Almost. Probably right in there. So. But they're very thin. They're very thin. And she's smiling. She's got a smile, so we don't want to make her. <laughs> we want to make her smiling. She's got this little line there. And then her bottom lip kind of comes down this way. And there's not much area here for her teeth. There's just her bottom lip there. And it kind of ends, goes up and ends that way. And, of course, there's very well defined in here. And she's got a line coming this way. And then her bottom lip here has a... You can see the red in here, but it also has some shadow down in here. 
It's kind of a bit of a white area in there. And her lip, her cheekbone. And this should really be soft because it comes this way. And it comes this way. And then let's look on the the neck underneath. She's got this part of her face coming this way. And then her neck is all in shadow in here. Of course, this is all part of her necklace and I'm just going to kind of draw little pearls in there they come all the way down here and she's holding some roses so you cannot see all the necklace but it's a three I see her cheek and her necklace actually is still underneath of her cheek there. And she's got more neck on the other side of it over here. Her neck actually comes out this way. Her dress does. So let's draw these. And of course, I'm wanting to shade this in. One thing about the teeth is they're not, you just don't want to put very many lines in there. They start looking like a pumpkin. They start looking like a pumpkin. We don't want to do that to her. So she's got this very defined cheekbone. And she's got area in here that's shaded in. She's got a very defined neck area here. And I keep skipping around. Her necklace comes down in here. So I get tired of drawing little round circles. And this area is pretty shady, and then you've got a, a line coming that way. You've got a pretty dark area in there. And then you've got a forehead defined up in here. And her neck is coming down this way. She's got a fancy dress on, so let's just kind of give this some fanciness in here. Looks like there's it might even be floral. I bet it's a made by a wonderful dressmaker there, a royal one. We're just gonna put hints of it. Let's darken her eye a little more. And here, 
Let's work on the side of her face in here. Kind of comes shadow like this area in her head. And then she's got that wonderful curvy, wavy hair. It comes up like that. I think I want to soften this area a little. Let's soften this. She's got curvy, curly hair coming out this way. And I can't even begin to define that. Wow. I think it comes down around like this. And up around like that. And then there's more in there. And this kind of comes and in, is in shadow in here. Now, I just need a touch. And I am going to use this brush that they gave me with the Faber-Castell. And I'm going to use a touch of water on this. And I don't care if I don't get the hand or the rest of her head in there. I'm concentrating on her eyes, her nose, and her mouth mostly. Maybe a little bit of her hair and her neck and a little bit of her necklace. And if that's all I get done of her, that's okay. And let's see. I, I want a little towel. Just to, I don't want my brush sopping wet, so I dip it in the brush, in the water, and then I just kind of blot it out. And we're going to I'm going to start over here with the left eye again, and just kind of darken this area. See what kind of shading we can get in here. Not much because I. I was not using that water soluble pink graphite every place. This area is very dark and in here. And then underneath of the nostril, right in here, there's a dark area. And her lips. I'm wanting to move that graphite more than it's moving.
Now, did you see what I did there? Let's put a little spritz of water in the cap of this. I actually dipped my lead pencil in the water, just like I would a paintbrush. But when you do that, you're going to get a very defined line. So you're going to need to be careful where you put it. See, it's actually a very defined dark line. And then I want to come in with my brush and kind of soften that out a little. Soften that whole area out. One thing I am working on cardstock. I am not working on a, a multimedia paper. Let's kind of define her lips a little. So you don't want to get too much water on it or you'll on a cardstock paper or it'll start to peel on you and pile. It's almost that's almost too much too dark in here. Let's, let's soften it out. You could actually go into her eyebrows a little, her eyelids. That really gives them a definition, doesn't it? And I'm not sure I want to touch that with my brush. Let's give it some dark. area here. I might soften her eyes. Now remember I said there wasn't much um, you don't see much. Let's bring that down. You don't see much white in there and you don't you don't see a lot of white over here. Let's bring that in a little. And then under in her nostril area here. Not much, Mary, not much. And her hair is very soft and white. So we aren't going to put a lot of hair lines. We're not going to define our hair with a lot of lines. We're just going to soften all of this out. I love her hair. <laughs> Why, Mary? I just do. Mm. All of her face over in here. Let's soften out these lines. I'm pretty happy with that. Now what I might do, let's go back to my, that was my number four. Let's go back to my 2B. And I'm, I'm wanting to put some more of these 
necklaces in, but see, they come way down, and I can even go like this. And maybe them like make them look a little softer. And they come down and they actually come down. So I wish that I wish she wasn't waving. <laughs> her hand falls in here. So her her necklace kind of falls down this way. It actually does fall in. The top row, you can kind of see the top row. And then the second row kind of falls in line with it. And then there's a third row. And I'm just drawing circles for those. And then I'll go back and soften them a little. And it ends because there's some, there's some flowers in there. I guess we could kind of put a, A flowery. And another kind of a flower. Up that way, a suggestion of flowers. There's a beautiful rose there. I could spend all day sketching that, couldn't I? Comes down something like that. doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing in here is saying I'm perfect. Just kind of bring it up in there. Let that fall in there. Give a hint of some flowers in here. I'm kind of liking it just like that. Sometimes it's wise to stop when you're ahead. <laughs> That's something that I'm still kind of learning. And she's got this shadow coming down this way, and her cheek is all in shadow here. And there's actually shadow coming across her nose and her head in there. And she's got some smile lines here. And this is kind of in shadow. I just want to kind of put in this, some of these beautiful waves that she has here of her hair. Kind of comes up.
I'm going to leave this area blank. And I'm going to kind of blend this. Just kind of blend it. Blend it up a little. Now, her neck area actually comes into shadow over here. So I don't want it, that part to be white. I want, I just want some shading in there. You know, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm happy with the way her eyes are defined. I'm kind of happy with this area. You know, you could work forever on getting her lines in her face right. There probably is more darkening in here. She's got this kind of a little smile here. Mm -hmm. Probably more darkening in here, in this area coming up here. And then kind of coming like that. Underneath of her neck. And her face kind of. Darkening in there. But I don't want to get it too dark. I don't want it to. Now I could talking about getting too dark let's go to let's go to these big graphite sticks what do you want to do mary and what is this that's an 8b let's go to the 6b i'm going to all of this area right in here is dark Oh, that's what I'm going to do. And right now it looks like lines, but when I get water on there, it will smooth out all those lines. Now, do we want to do the same over here? Maybe just to see, I don't want to touch, I don't want to touch too much of her hand area. This area, I'm just kind of leaving it blank. I'm just not even doing much with that. So I think I'll just put a little dark area up here. And just kind of barely bring it down. That might even be too much. Now I'm going to take my brush. Put that back in my box. 
Well, let's kind of blend this in. See how those lines disappear? You're almost painting with graphite. This area here, I'm just, I'm just not wanting to touch this area because I don't, I don't want to draw the hand, and I'm not very sure about what, where that ear comes and where the head comes. So I'm very reluctant to do anything with that. Let's kind of bring it down and. Put some shadow in there, but not, not too much. Let's try something else with that 6B. Let's try something else. Let's try taking my brush and wetting it. I'll wet my brush and let's just brush it across the graphite stick. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's dark. Well, see, that's more than I wanted. We'll just kind of blend it in, I guess. So if you put your brush, wet brush, on your graphite stick, you will get a very, that'll be nice for, here, let me see, here's my water up here. I'm going to put my brush in there, and then I'm going to touch it to my graphite, to my water-soluble graphite. And then I'll put it to my paper. And it makes a very dark, very dark area. Very nice for doing backgrounds. Um, am I happy with this? I don't know. <laughs> oh dear me I'm not sure I'm happy with that Now I'm getting in there too much. Let's see if I can't blot, wet and blot, and lift. That's the other thing I wondered. Since this is graphite, that's fairly wet. See how much it'll erase. It'll erase a little, not as much as I want. See, I don't want to, I don't want that to peel and pile and wear a hole in it.
What did I do with my... It's not, uh, since this is cardstock, it it tends to want to soak in. It's not moving across my page. I'm thinking that if I had a, a vellum coated paper that I could smoosh this out a little bit more than I'm having luck with. All of this that I was going to leave white, I have now darkened. <laughs> I guess I'll just leave it. I'm not happy with how, I'm not happy with this. How defined that is. But you know what? If I do much more on this, Oops, I kicked my camera. If I do too much more on this, I'll overwork it. And that's not my intention. The problem is I didn't want to draw the hand. Very interesting what that graphite stick does. Very interesting. I think I'm going to quit. I think I'm going to call it good. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Um, yeah. I think I do have... Uh, what did I do with my brush? Her nose. Fairly well in here. Fairly well in here. You know, there, there could be more work done on it. There's shading under there. More work done on the, the eye area. But I'm afraid I'll overwork it. There probably could be some more work done up in here. <laughs> However, I'm going to leave it. Let's go ahead and sign it. Today is February the 10th. And this is Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth the second on her ninety second birthday. I'm not unhappy with it. 
Um, the only thing I'm really unhappy with is, is her face. She was waving. She had her hand on the side of the face, so I lost it in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I sketch. And you know what? I have a lot to learn yet. I just keep sketching. I keep having fun with it. Let's put my pencils away. This is Ticonderosa. This is my 2B. 2B. My 6B. In there, 6B. 4B. 6B, 8B. And let's wash out my brush a little. My little brush. I'm going to put him right in here. I feel like I have something else that can go in there. I guess not. Let's put my graphite stick away. And here's my pencil. And I decided I would put this down at the bottom. Because that's how it fits. Put my pencil sharpener in there. Put my little tortillions in there. And then my little water will go in there too. But it's got water in it. I have to dump out. So yeah, I could sketch her again and probably get a better likeness. The more you sketch somebody... The better it is. Let me reach over here and get my stapler. I'm hoping I got staples enough in here. Yeah, I do. And I'm going to put it in here in my, in my art journal. Let's turn off my phone. Oh, now see, when I'm not looking at her, when I'm not looking at her in my book, I'm okay with her. <laughs> She's a little damp. Let's dry her background off here. Grab my heat gun. And it's practice. It's the fun of doing it, too. You don't have to be perfect all the time. I'm not. I'm not a portrait artist. I'm I'm just having fun with my art. And I am going to put this. Let me find it here. I have a page. No, I don't. Because I'm I've already got my astronaut. Now I'm doing 29 faces, but this is the third one I've done in 10 days. So I just do them as I want. This is this is Julie Ward Howe. I'm happy with the second one that I did of her. This is this one over here is Alan Shepard, astronaut. Julia Ward Howe wrote the Star Spangled Banner and sketch of the astronaut Alan Shepard in his in his later life. And let's see, I want to put this over some journaling when I get there. I'm still journaling under him. I'm going to put it over my journaling spot. And I'll do a pick 10 there. These are my doodles. These are watercolor pages. Will I be journaling in here? I think I will be. So let's staple. Let's staple her right here. And perhaps we'll do another pick 10 there. Another um, 29 faces. Let's get my drawing box out of the way here. Now, I have to tell you, now this is wet, so it might rub off a little here. But over here with Alan Sh Shepard, I use water-soluble graphite here. Where is he? Where are you, Alan? And very little, if any, 
of this water soluble well i've got dirty hands now but very little if any of this has rubbed off over here as i close my book so i think that i'm just not even going to bother with a fixative it's wet here now i mean it's very damp but yeah i'm happy with it i'm very happy with it it's just fun to do this it, it's relaxing if you aren't don't get too paranoid about it it's just very relaxing to do so thank you for watching and I will see you on the next page.